I am Slick Nick, the living legend of hair loss, your personal hairline hero, and of course, the red pill pusher of hair loss. Let's go ahead and check out this comment. This, this inspired me because this comment reveals more about you, the viewer, than it does me, the, the creator uh, of, these, of this content here. So I made a video called Norwood 2 is what Kevin Mann thinks I am, and he's impressed. So our friend Resvi A left me this comment a week ago. He said, quote, bro, you have a widow's peak, not male pattern baldness. So I responded, I will make a video response, and this is that video response. So let's break it down. Now I wanna again start with the disclaimer. The way I see it is your response reveals more about you and probably your own insecurities about male pattern baldness than it does me. Now, as an almost 40 year old man, do I care about this? No, it's not part of my identity. It's not part of my confidence. But a lot of my viewers are not there yet. So therefore, they're so freaking out about going bald that they can see somebody else and basically think that they cast a darker shadow on it. But let's go ahead and break it down. Again, you can vote if you want. Should I put that in the title? Vote, all capital letters. And uh, if you think this is uh, a widow's peak, say it, widow's peak. If you think it's male pattern baldness, say male pattern baldness. Oh, another fun way we could do this too. If you don't want to do that, you could vote this way. Give me a thumbs up if you think this is a widow's peak. Give me a thumbs down if you think this is male pattern baldness. Now, I will tell you immediately what I think it is. I think it is a mild case of male pattern baldness, considering that I'm a couple months away from turning 40, and knowing that most men who go bald aggressively do so before their 35th birthday, and I'm almost 40, turning 40 in April. So I would submit to you that most of the hair I've lost, for the most part, happened before age 35, as it is. That's part of my whole hair loss theory is that I talk about, you know, in that link below that I talk about in all my in, in all my videos, I always reference you to that. So let's break this down. Is this a widow's peak? Or is this male pattern baldness? Now, standing what, three, four feet away from me, as you look at this, it does, honestly, it does appear to be more of a, of a uh, widow's peak, if anything. We, we have kind of a V thing going on. Now, if I stand sideways, you can see how far it goes back. And ultimately, Norwood 3 would be closer to where my ears are. Mine doesn't really go back that far, as far as my temples go, which is interesting because on this channel, if you want to have some fun, type in, uh, I think it's, let's see, perm, age 17. If you type that in, you'll see me at age 17 when I got a perm, kind of as a joke for my senior year. And it's a VHS tape that my sister was recording and it zooms in at the end on my temples and you can see it almost looks like my temples are worse then than they are now which is really interesting i'm not saying that they were but i'm saying you could tell my temples were receded or had gone back so uh, i in my opinion uh, i don't really have a whole lot of temples uh, recession M mine's more up in this area and yes my hairline has lifted over the years uh, and i will tell you and you can see it in the videos like the one i filmed just minutes ago where i was fixing my hair for this video, uh, using a blow dryer and a comb, if you want to check that out while I'm wearing this shirt, uh, then you can see in a different light where I had the light shining in and I, you can even kind of look at the back a little bit more. And there is some more thinning here in this portion and this hairstyle really helps with that. And I, a, a week ago, I got this hairstyle, uh, the shortest version of this pompadour on a cut, which I got a one and a half guard on the sides and then it's an inch and a half on top but well, that's the shortest version of this and i wanted to experiment and see how would that look if i were to do this what i learned from that is that i do need to use a comb and a blow dryer which actually doesn't take it takes like 30 seconds to fix my hair whereas when it's longer when it's say two inches or more on top that's when i can sort of play with the wave that my hair already has so uh, there's a lot of light in this room there's one above me as well so that would expose any extra thinning. I'm just trying to make it easy for you to be able to vote here on whether you think this is male pattern baldness 
or whether you think this is a widow's peak. So here, oh, here's my answer. I think most people will simply, if anything, perceive this as a widow's peak. Standing again about three and a half feet away from me. I mean, it, it's almost not even that noticeable, honestly. It's not, it's almost, it's almost looks like it's straight across. So I say the hairstyle has a lot to do with it, but ultimately my hair's not even that long. It's only an inch and a half on top. So, but I absolutely know that, yes, it's thinner on top. My hair is thinner on top. It's a little bit weaker here and a little bit weaker here. And it's definitely thin, thinner overall than the sides, which is pretty typical for a guy who's approaching his 40th birthday. My official answer is, it is mild male pattern baldness. And I don't predict that it will get much worse through the rest of my life, not at least over the next couple of decades. I really don't think it will because I think you're born with DNA that determines whether you're going to aggressively go bald before you turn age 35. My age alone, and I'm doing nothing to prevent hair loss. No, I haven't had a tra hair transplant. I don't take Propecia or anything like that. I do nothing to keep the hair that I have. I'm making zero efforts. So there you go. Go ahead and vote in the comments below. Male pattern baldness, widow's peak. Make your vote there. And then also, if you wanna do this, you can give it a thumbs up if you think it's a widow's peak. Give it a thumbs down if you think uh, that it's male pattern baldness. If you had to choose one or the other, because I know technically we could say it's a little bit of both, but more so than the other, which would you choose? And what's kind of dumb about that is that if I'm telling my viewers to give it a thumbs down if they believe one way, that's actually gonna hurt my algorithm for my channel. I shouldn't do that. I should always be encouraging you to give me a thumbs up, but it's all right. I'll, I'll take one for the team. Now, in closing, remember, if you're new to this channel and you just recently subscribed, I don't care about your hair and helping you save your hair. This is a red pill channel. There's guys like Kevin Mann, Hairliciously, people like that. Check them out if you want to save your hair. I'm not trying to help you save your hair. I'm trying to make you a confident person inward, not based on things like that. Therefore, the way out, the only way I actually care about helping you is by you watching that video right there. It breaks down the five ways to determine if you're gonna go bald by age 35. You ask yourself all five questions and then you tell me the answer if you're gonna go bald. You don't ask me. Don't ask me any other questions. Just those five ones, you ask those for yourself don't mention your dad being bald. Don't mention hair on your pillow. I don't care about it. It doesn't apply. And then more importantly, the way I help you is in the same video. There's 10 ways that society finds you attractive or not. And hair is not on them. The only one that even goes back to your physical appearance is actually you being fit and healthy and active. That's the only thing that society actually judges you on as a male. Your comments and your vote belongs right here.